Okay, checking in. The checking airport. In. Here we go. Oh, it, yeah. Leg. We just spent four unforgettable days in Singapore, and now we're headed to nearby Bali in Indonesia for the last four days of our 20th anniversary celebration trip. But before we fly, we take in Singapore's one-of-a-kind airport. We got ourselves a, a butterfly garden here. I picked up a fun little visitor. Oh, uh, look! I'm the chosen one. <laughs> Singapore's airport is like a mini version of Singapore, complete with gardens, activities, theme parks, shopping, and food. If you've explored the airport, then you know what Singapore is all about. It's also the gateway to the rest of Asia, and as such, our departure point to and from Bali. Oh, dude, they do like the white ah, man. Look at Debbie. you. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. That was. He's coming back. Come back for more. Ruth's sister Debbie and her husband Ben are joining us for this trip, and we're having a blast exploring these places we've never been. They're coming out of a cocoon. That one right there is like in the process. But if you think having a butterfly garden is unique for an airport, you should see what else they have. How about the pool in the airport here? Not bad. <laughs> well, we just checked out the pool at the airport. It's amazing. <laughs> and why not? Have you ever seen a cactus garden in the rain? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Chingy Airport is full of interesting discoveries that help you pass the time before your flight. These guys are working it so that they can charge. You guys don't even have anything plugged in right now. It's just it's not even plugged in. The attractions make you want to explore the whole airport even when you don't have to. In fact, one of our favorite discoveries was riding the tram and going through the jewel, Changi Airport's impressive mega mall that anyone can enjoy. Oh, look at this. Wow. <laughs> Wave to everybody. Oh, man. That's next level, huh? The bottom floors of the jewel is a giant food court, while the next several levels are shopping topped with theme park-like activities on top. But to ride the tram, all you have to do is have a flight. <laughs> Dude, seriously. Went through the jewel. Went through the jewel. Back outside. <laughs> But this, after all, is primarily an airport, and we were on our way somewhere special. All right. We are getting on the plane for Bali now. Yeah. There we go. A few hours later, we touched down in Bali, Indonesia. After going through customs, we found our ride to the hotel. All right. Look for Nathaniel Ryder. Yeah, yeah. Living in Japan means that our most affordable vacation destinations are no longer in the Americas, but here in Asia itself. We are doing this whole trip for half of the cost of doing an Alaskan cruise with airfare from Japan, and that includes the amazing deal Ruth found at a five-star resort in Bali. This will be our first time staying at such a nice resort. <laughs> There we go. We made it. All right, guys, we made it. Wait, what, what do we get there? Kombucha. Oh, look, it's good for you. It's good for you. It's good for you. Just drink it. As we waited to check in, we were served a very interesting local drink. Coconut water. Does it taste like durian? No, it tastes much better than durian. Much better. No, I get things. Oh, actually. It's like lettuce and yeah. Lime squeezed into it. Yeah. Lime with grass. <laughs> I'm yeah, trying yeah. everything after I've seen everyone else's reactions so I know how to prepare myself. Oh, man, I don't know if you do, though. That was delicious. <laughs> I do? Yes. <laughs> Take a bigger sip. I want to see it. Take a big gulp. Yeah, a big gulp. Tastes like grass with lemon. It's better than that. I like <laughs> but once we were checked in, we were led to our rooms, and our first impressions of the Hilton in Bali did not disappoint us. There we go. I know. There's the cliff right there. Look at our workout going to the elevator. Mmm. On the corner. Yeah. He's <laughs> like. Right. Over there. This is their 20th wedding anniversary. Wow. Nice. Oh, 
Oh, All right. I feel like I should take off my it's shoes again. Now. <laughs> How about this? Huh? Sure. This is awesome. Look at this. Balcony of balconies. Dude, I Did think they... we're going to get a perfect view to the sunrise. Look at that beach, Debbie. It just never ended. Look at how long ago. I told it to run down and see if the, if the thing yeah, is open. Yeah, I know. Well, Ruth, our room. Oh, goodness. It's just amazing. The kids are going to freak when The kids them. are going to freak out when we call them. All right, Ben and Debbie are checking into their room. We haven't eaten any dinner yet. It's past 10 o'clock, so we're going to go find a restaurant and eat. Look at the sand. Look at oh. oh. Yep. Look at the tower from here, guys. How fun is this, you guys? This is awesome. <laughs> well, guys, I think we got the last ordering of the day, don't you think? My goodness. This is amazing, huh? Oh, guys, this is great. Ruth, your burgers here, the chicken burger. Oh, yes. And Debbie got the same thing. All right, let's pray and girls can eat. Oh, man. A little beef burger. The first night was in the books, but the next day would reveal the full beauty of Bali, and we were super excited to take it all in. The kids staying with Ruth's mother back in Japan were super excited to see it too. I just, yeah, we were right just made it. Night. There's a little sofa, and a chair, and the bed. It's 50 square meters. So it's half the size of our apartment. The view from our room was mesmerizing, and soon we would head out to what would become one of our favorite parts about the Hilton, breakfast. Good morning, guys. Oh, boy. Time to explore, huh? Look at that. Look at that. This is the that power. Right. <laughs> Main lobby. Yeah, it feels awesome, doesn't it? This is awesome. We're falling. Look at this, huh? Oh yeah. There's a cliff in our hotel. <laughs> is that building? I'm just surrounded by people capturing the moment, including myself. <laughs> okay, breakfast time. What do you think, Ben? This is just a little out of control. It's out of control. This breakfast here. Yeah, exactly right. How cool is that? Well, Ruth, your impressions of that breakfast buffet? It's insane. Insane. It's another level. But then again, I've never stayed at a five star hotel, so maybe this is what all five star hotel breakfasts are like. Oh, look at this room. I know. I was like, I'm going to need more plates. I'm going to need more days. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Soon Ben arrived and surprised us all. I've never had this for breakfast. Lamb with hummus. No. no. Never even had lamb with hummus. Dal, chutney. I don't even know which one's chutney anymore. <laughs> Different kinds of chutney. I don't know what this is. I love your fruit of it. I'm going to try it. That, that is good. pretty amazing. I, I stuck with the this more... Is coconut <laughs> sauce. So that breakfast was next level. I've never had any buffet as big and diverse as that buffet. And it was amazing. It was like, I'm glad we're here a couple days so we can try it out. Look at this here. <laughs> but the buffet wasn't the only place where we suffered decision paralysis. Okay, the big question is what pool? I don't know, I want to do it all. That's right. This kind of looks like it's one of the main pools, huh? All right. We have our spots. We decided our first entrance into the pool should be a grand one. There's the bottom of the water slide. And we're about to try it. Here we go. All right. Alrighty. Shall we? We shall. Oh my. Woo. Man. You were cruising! Who's next? <laughs> oh, it's rude. Without a doubt. <laughs> oh. What? Oh. What? <laughs> Coming in hot! 
The decision was unanimous. Do the slide one more time. Excited, go faster. Go fast. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was intense. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, 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 this is pretty much exactly the opposite of Singapore, isn't it? <laughs> and besides enjoying the water, what else did the ladies want to do on their Bali vacation? The girls are getting ready to do their massage. But before the massages would happen, there would be some more excitement. Trying to find the Komodo dragon, whatever it was that we saw that ran in here. You see it there? see it. Right there. Yeah, it doesn't look like a lizard. It looks like it's more than He's gonna come out over here, guys. Here it goes, there it goes. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh my goodness. There it is. Oh my it's goodness. It's in the wild. Oh man, there it goes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What's those people there just I like. Know, freak out. No. Under the bridge, right? Yeah, under, under the bridge. What was that? That was. Well. We lost it, huh? It's in the bushes there somewhere. That was an adventure. <laughs> we'll refer to that as the big chase. That was intense though, that was cool. No animal for her. In That's the right. No, people, humans, <laughs> lives. <laughs> oh, maybe there was a... <laughs> okay, heading up the ops to the observation tower. It is a lot of stairs to get up here. And here comes the crew. Oh, wow. 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 It's worth it. This is like the drone view, man. Did you bring your drone? I did not. No drones this time. But soon the phones were back out documenting the hotel. This is some of the rooms. Wow. That whole building is the lobby. Yeah. On a scale one to ten, this place so far. Oh man, it's a ten. It's great. <laughs> this is beautiful. While we probably could have spent all four days at the hotel, we did want to get out and explore around us. It was awful tempting to relax the whole day and not go out, but we are going out to see a mall, to see the town, and just what Indonesia is like. Okay, piling in. Sure. Wow. <laughs> in the front. <laughs> even though we're headed to a tourist point here in Bali, it will help us get to know the area even better. Driving through town during the day was great for taking in the surroundings and start building a mental picture of Bali, and it didn't take long for us to arrive at our destination, Bali Collection, where we would have lunch and the girls would shop. Dude, this is sweet. This is pretty legit here. Afterwards, we went back to the hotel to a very interesting discovery. It's the afternoon now, and the waves are breaking right here on the beach earlier, and now look, they are way out there. You can almost walk all the way out. In fact, people are walking all the way out there. How crazy is that? So different from this morning. Soon we formed an expedition group to go check it out ourselves. Look at these. I don't want to touch it. The amount of wild sea life found on the ocean floor was astounding. Is it seaweed? Is it seaweed or is it a crab? Oh my goodness! Watch it just go in. Look, you can't sail. tell. Look, here, there's a big crab. Oh. It blends in with the sand. Oh, I can't even really see it. Oh. oh, that thing! That's huge. Oh, man. Look at they're just everywhere, these live crabs. After all that excitement, the girls went to get their Balinesian massages while Ben and I enjoyed hanging out on the beach. Well, our ladies are getting massages. Getting massages. And we're chilling here on the beach with this wedding couple. <laughs> we're celebrating sure. our own That's wedding. right, why not? Why not? <laughs> That night, the resort was hopping with a huge wedding party, but we were so relaxed, we slept the night away. The next day, we had big plans and we wanted to be ready. We found Ben. 
Checking all this stuff, huh? Look at all the things you can put. I might get some cereal. Oh, get get it today, man. Get oh, it. Man. Ruth. I can't do it. She, she can't do it. She needs an extra hand. Better give her some help here. After a hearty breakfast, we were on our way to a speedboat that would take us across the bay to nearby islands that are famous for their beaches and snorkeling. This is as close as we'll get to seeing local life while we're here, and we'll have our own guide with us to tell us all about it. But getting to these remote places will be an Indonesian adventure all their own. Here's our boat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Genki des. Soon we were off and heading out into the open ocean. In protocol that reminded me of Brazil, the names of everyone on the boat were read off and confirmed. Then we were really ready to go. Heading out. Going. Into the ocean. Yeah. Once the captain successfully navigated the waves heading out into the ocean, we were invited to some very special seats on top of the boat. Check this out, huh? Feedback. <laughs> this is very cool. So the name of the island we're going to is Nusa Penida. And we're going to explore some of the beaches here and then have a Balinese lunch. And we're going to do some snorkeling and come back. That volcano over there is pretty close to the size of Mount Fuji. A couple hundred meters shorter. Very nice. Yeah, it's great. It is. Look at the water here, though. It's Look like how blue camp. it is. I think one of those, I think, should go snorkeling. That's right. It's probably our base camp where we're eating lunch, maybe? Yeah, probably. Okay. Oh, Fernando. Oh, our wonderful guide for today. Thank you. Shay, picture time. Cheers to 20 years. <laughs> wow, that's delicious. Tangerine. Oh, tangerine juice. Once everything was ready, we headed to a car that would take us to the scenic places on the island. Here we go. The arts version. Yes. All right. It's small. only 200 squat kilometers and not so big like Bali. As we drove almost 45 minutes to our first stop, Fernando told us all about the island. No water, uh, no reef, no reef. Wow. Really? Fresh water. Uh, the fresh water, they have a spring water. It's uh, only one for the whole island. Wow. Oh, wow. And also, the, like a lot of people here, they have like a traditional tank water underground to collect the rainy water. You do what you gotta do. As we approached our first point, we felt like we were getting a better idea about the place and the people. Soon we would see in person one of the points that makes this island so special. And we made it. Okay, we got here and I had to go to the bathroom so bad. So here's the bathrooms. You have to pay 5000 to use them, but it's worth it. <laughs> that may sound expensive, but that's only a little over 30 cents. And considering they collect all the water so you can use the bathroom, it's not a bad deal. I should mention it was also very clean. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my word. What? We are so high. Oh, dude. That's beautiful. Ben showing up in style. You guys monkey. Look at this no, monkey. No, no, no. Oh, don't beat it. Don't beat I'm it. I'm not beating it. This monkey is like, no ice cream. You give me ice cream. A monkey, but you know who he's looking at? Let's say if you want to buy banana there. Yeah, because he's eating ice cream. <laughs> My... <laughs> That's scary. There's a monkey. Look at this place. Amazing. Look at the people down there. It's one hour to walking down. One hour walk down there, huh? Clinking, clinking cliff. Did you see down there? Look at the path to walk down there. 
There's people swimming down there, though. I know. I want to do a private tour down there. So this is like something you see in the movies. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the most beautiful beach in the world. You may look. Cute. What's happening? Baby monkey. Baby monkey. Walking down the street. Baby monkey. Soon, we came across the alpha monkey of the clan. We decided to appease him with some bananas. <laughs> oh, well. Don't take it back, you bite. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, don't take it back. With the alpha happy, we could feed the other ones. This one, this one. <laughs> oh my word. It's a mama. It's a mama. That's a mama. Give her extra. She's, she's got to work hard. She wants it. Oh, cute. Oh, it's sweet. <laughs> they just got it. Look at it. Oh, my. Did he bite you? Did he bite you? <laughs> <laughs> Fernando's waiting for her. <laughs> well, kid needs to learn how to take a banana. <laughs> Wow. Is it? One foot in front, one foot in back, yo. Wow, beautiful. Wow. But, yeah, Can we paraglide down there? <laughs> but there was still another spot to go and check out with the crowds. Okay, this is a good view. Yeah, yes. Uh, uh. Like this, honey. This is like super drone, right? <laughs> After Fernando's super drone shot, it was time to move on. Oh, oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's like, that's my drink. My water. Could you share a little with me, buddy? Oh, I don't want it anymore. It's not the people that live. It's just, it's it's just like kids, isn't it? <laughs> I'm done. Boom. After you feed the monkey, give yourself a good walk. Good walk. This tour guy is on point. He is. Okay. Hey, Fernando. Yeah. How many people fall off of that? Uh, right here? Yes. So far, it's never. Never? Oh, wow. Never fell down, but uh, at the broken beach, the place we are going, it's uh, often people that fall down. Oh. So be more careful where we're going, huh? Yeah, more careful. It's a broken beach. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we drove 30 minutes down Broken Road to Broken Beach. Keep focusing on the road. That is Manta Bay. Manta Bay. Dolphins. Look at the dolphins out there. Dolphins. Cool. Manta Bay, very nice, very cool. Okay, so this over here is the Indian Ocean. Wow, very cool. These are decent sized stairs here. These are hot. So Ben, hey. you gonna do a cliff drive here? Yeah. Right from that spot, I think would be good. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Three in. Oh, go get it, huh? There's just no way to get back up. What happened? The water the water came out of red flag. Three days ago. Oh. <laughs> Moving on. Wow. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's a cool breeze from here. <laughs> you feel that? We made our way around Broken Beach, being very careful with our steps. The heat was so intense that we longed to go for a swim, but somewhere other than Broken Beach. Oh my. I could be up there, ain't Look at these two. Aww. <laughs> okay, we're going over that land bridge now. Climbing up, going over. After Broken Beach, we were broken from the heat, hunger, and hike. So it was another 45 minutes by car back to base camp, where we had a refreshing lunch and a swim waiting for us. Here, babe. That was rude. Mm. How is it? Mm, it's good. It's good? Our food has arrived. Yes. Ruth, are you excited about I this? I am excited about And it this. looks good. It's a Balinese lunch, they say. But they do have some things that I recognize, like satay. Tofu, I think. Tofu. And this one is the tempeh. It's made from soya bean right here. After our tasty lunch and another swim, it was time for the main event, snorkeling. We would take a boat out to the first of two locations offshore. Neither Ruth nor I have snorkeled before, so we're excited and a bit apprehensive about how it will all go. 
<laughs> Ruth had some lip work done here. Look at that. <laughs> All right, you ready? Okay, one, two, three. Woo! The first time we were learning the ropes, we soon realized we didn't need the life jackets. In fact, they got in the way of snorkeling. After our first run, we were ready for the main snorkeling event, the wall. <laughs> first time, how'd it go? That was amazing. <laughs> All right, Figured next time I'm trying, no life vest, and maybe with right. the GoPro. We're gonna go right up here, by the wall. Come up there. This is phenomenal here. It just like goes down steep. Yeah, it's super cool. <laughs> Swimming while breathing through the snorkel certainly took some getting used to, but the whole experience was surreal. I felt like we too were fish in a giant aquarium. I wanted to dive deeper still. My GoPro came off and I caught it in my hand. Nice. Time seemed to stand still as we swam through the water, taking it all in. With each dive, we tried to stay down longer and go further. we learned along the way but we didn't let that stop us and far too quickly the whole allotted time went by I've seen lots of these things on TV before but it's a whole other thing when you're the one swimming through the water what is it Ruth? what is it trek back. We would certainly be talking about this along the way. We would get off one boat and get on another boat back to Bali. The voyage back would take about 45 minutes and we hoped for good conditions so we could ride up top again. Here is just a mess. A mess! Standing over 3,000 meters tall, Mount Agung rises over Bali much like Mount Fuji rises over Japan. We are fortunate to be able to see it so clearly on our way back. Soon, Ben was making the case for letting us go back up top. The conditions were in his favor and we went up.
Upon arrival, the sun was setting, but the day was not done. We would be dropped off at Bali Collection. We needed dinner, and the girls had seen something, something very different, that they just had to try. It's very tickling. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Feed the fish. Oh my goodness, Debbie. Oh my word, Debbie. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They're like little leeches. Oh, they are. Oh my. Oh, they're leeching. <laughs> oh, they're leeching. Oh, oh, they're leeching. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, my word. That is weird. Have you know, it feels like bubbles. Oh, I can't think about it. Oh, it feels like you put your foot in just a bunch of bubbles. bubbles. <laughs> This is so funny. Debbie has a whole colony around her. Oh my word. I don't want my pedicure to get messed up. Yeah, right. Fish. Oh my word. Oh my word, Ruth. Oh my word. What kind of? So, oh, yeah. 10 minutes. Oh, 10 minutes is plenty. That was weird. Weirder than weird. It was, it was crazy. 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 Crazy experience. Definitely worth worth having. It's a once in a lifetime experience. Soon we are back at the hotel with an update to the huge wedding. It's like a giant wow. reception tonight, huh? Man. Dude, they did not get hitched. And that's the reception. They're on white. The next day was a big day. You could say it was the big day. Breakfast here. Oh, just out of this world. <laughs> Salt again. Oh no, I brought it over here. Is it salt? Salt and pepper. What'd you get today? Went a little wild. Started with desserts. <laughs> moved to Western style. Kept going. Found some Indian food that looked amazing. <laughs> oh, the lattes are here. Yes. This was not only our last full day at the hotel, it was a day to truly celebrate. That's awesome. You didn't go on your bed. I am. <laughs> Life is not always as fun as a water slide, but it does go by fast like one. <laughs> 20 years ago today, I took the plunge and married the girl of my dreams. <laughs> I've been chasing her down ever since. <laughs> <laughs> Into the ocean. Here we go. Taking a 20th anniversary trip like this is not easy, but neither is marriage. <laughs> These milestones are worth celebrating because marriage is something worth celebrating. 20 years later, I still say I do. Look at these. That's a chocolate milkshake. That is. That is. That's a strawberry milkshake. That's insane. My goodness. Yes. Yeah, this is here to 20 years. But as it would turn out, Ben and I would also be lassoed into the spa madness. Oh man. Here we go. I'm gonna let you draw them. <laughs> oh, oh, here they come. Yeah. Okay. It's so weird. <laughs> You've been there for 30 seconds. Less. It's so it it <laughs> What's happening there, Ben? Oh man, they were getting attacked by these fish. I don't like it. Look at oh, that! Oh my goodness, it feels so weird. These fish are all over. Oh. Why are they all over at Nate's feet and not at Ben's? Oh, I wonder why. Ben just <laughs> Open your toes, Ben. Oh, Open your toes. Oh, man, it tickles me, too. <laughs> when it came to celebrating our 20th anniversary, we wanted to do it right. Ruth found an incredible deal on this two-part Singapore-Bali trip, and it has been the most amazing way to celebrate. At the end of our trip, we find ourselves wishing we had more time to spend in beautiful Bali. The people have been so friendly and the experience unforgettable. Oh, it's our last sunset in Bali, huh? So sad. So sad, boys. Hopefully we all will be back then. Hopefully, this was great. And the YouTube videos don't capture it. Oh no. Oh. Ours will do a better job, but still, you can't really capture this with a video. Because it's a whole experience. Oh my goodness, look at the moon. 
Is that Venus? Is that Venus? I think it's so, Venus. Oh my goodness. Oh, well, there we go. Let's go to the lookout tower. Yeah. And a special thanks to Ruth's mom, Becky, and our friend Nicole, who watched the kids at home so we were able to do this. Nicole has her own YouTube channel, and you can check it out and see what the kids did while we were gone. But for now, we take in Bali and the Hilton one last time. It's hard to express just how beautiful it is to arrive here at night. It's just like tropical magic. <laughs> it's so beautiful, man. This is just next level. Look at, look at that beach over there. In the neighbor's beach, you know? Look how far out it is. Well, how about this for our twentieth anniversary? Yay. What a day! What huh? a day! So fun. Only one thing can make it better. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Getting pregnant one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Next time on Life in Japan, we begin our big return back to Japan. But getting back comes with its challenges. We can't wait to see our kids again. But how did they do while we are gone? Subscribe to Life in Japan to not miss out, and don't forget to leave a comment. What was your favorite part of Bali? <laughs>